Jeremy Fernandez. Jeremy Fernandez is an Australian journalist and television news presenter with the Australian Broadcasting Corporation ABC. Career Fernandez joined the Australian Broadcasting Corporation in 2000 working as a producer for ABC Local Radio. He has presented programs on Australian Network and has worked as a voice over artist for Seven Network. He has worked with CNN International in London, UK as a writer and a producer before joining ABC again in 2009, where he continues to work at the network's Sydney Bureau. In December 2012, Fernandez replaced Felicity Davy as ABC News and SW Weekend presenter. In early 2017, Jeremy hosted Late Line while regular hosts Tony Jones and Emma Alvarezai were on leave. In December 2017, ABC announced that Fernandez will present ABC New Late Night Bulletin, ABC Late News. In May 2018, the ABC flew Fernandez and Annabel Crabbe to London to host coverage of the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Personal Life He grew up in Malaysia before his family migrated to Australia when he was 13. His father is an associate professor in journalism at Curtin University in Perth. Racial Abuse Incident, February 2013 in February 2013, Fernandez was racially abused by a female fellow passenger on a Sydney bus for about 15 minutes while taking his two-year-old daughter to child care. One other passenger intervened, but was the recipient of remarks by the abuser. Fernandez says that the woman's daughter had been physically abusing his daughter. The woman's daughter had been flicking and pinching my daughter from behind. It was harmless child's play, but it made my daughter uncomfortable and confused. So I put my arm around her as protection. The little girl kept clipping my arm. I turned and told her softly, that was my arm. The girl's mother asked what was going on, and I told her what had happened. She denied her daughter had even touched me. What happened next took me by surprise. She began hurling abuse, accused me of reaching behind our seats and touching her daughter. Of course, I had not done anything of the sort. This accusation hit me pretty hard. At this point, I considered moving to another spot on the bus. However, the woman then launched into a racist rant that continued for the longest 15 minutes of my life. I thought to myself, what would Rosa Parks do? She would stay put. So I did, especially since it is 2013. Fernandez says that. Fernandez later talked to the bus driver, who said he should have moved. Fernandez has described this incident as his Rosa Parks moment.